Morning guys, how are we all doing? Man, the days are getting more and more beautiful. Sunny out, vest on, looking great. Right, today, okay, so we're starting a little bit late again today because I had to go and get that stereo fitted in my truck that I was talking about last week. So that was this morning. It's about half past 10 now, so we're starting much later than normal. I had a fair few comments yesterday saying that I didn't load out enough tiles on the front there. So what we're gonna do, a little bit of a change of plan today, this morning, up until lunchtime, I'm going to load out, load more tiles on the front, just fill in a load more. You're saying, oh, I can't remember, it's a certain amount per square metre, and you basically say I need about another half a pallet more tiles on the front. So the, the stack that I've put on the scaffolding out the front, we're going to move that. I'm just going to fill in a few gaps, and hopefully we're going to have, um, have some more tiles up there. So I'll do that this morning and this afternoon. We'll wrap all of the dormers, and I might be making a change. I'm not sure yet. So, a few of you are saying that putting cladding around the uh, the dormers is probably a good idea, easier, and it doesn't. It looks pretty good as well. I'm tempted with that now, you know, because the main reason is because the tiles that go on the corners. I'll show you. Well, so the thing I'm worried about here is with the corner tiles. These ones here. I'm just worried that having them on the edge like this wide that where my hand is the small tile going in there it's gonna be too much of a cut it might be a look a bit fiddly and a bit I have to cut every tile you know what I mean so yeah, the bit where my hand is this section here I don't know a tile doesn't fit in there obviously but also the other problem is when it comes to this side there's an even smaller cut which just I don't think that's gonna work that's why I'm tempted to not use these they're just, they're just not going to fit in that because that's so small. Bit of a shame. Good thing I only bought two of these. If I'd bought more than them, more of them than two, then I'd have had to take them back. And the place where I get them from, they do like a 20% restocking charge. So didn't really want to do that. So I'm going to go and, yeah, I'll, I'll check out for uh, cladding when I go at lunchtime. See, see, there's a little bit of an issue there. But let me know what you guys think. I'm definitely, I'm thinking of cladding it instead, which means I'll have to change all of the the battens up here on these ones out the back to having them vertical rather than horizontal but that's not a problem so yeah let me know down in the comments what do you guys think i'm thinking maybe cement board or something like that something that doesn't need much um uh, upkeep but i'm going to go down to build as much in the lunchtime and i'll find out i'll see what ones they've got and how much they are and things like that right okay so now that we've got that let's go out the front and get these tiles up onto the scaffold so we're good to go drive down to Builders Merchant and I'm going to go in here and see if they do any sort of cladding or something like that and see 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 what they got on offer really because I think that might be the case rather than tile so I'll jump out and have a quick look right this is the fibre board that I'm thinking of and I'm thinking probably that colour country lane red to match the tiles Right, so I've just been in there and spoke to them about this hardy plank, whatever it's called stuff, and uh, a couple of things. One, they don't have the, the red that I want. Apparently it's discontinued, and uh, the only other one is that other red one that you saw. A bit too red for my liking. And um, because I only need 18 square meters, they have they don't have they don't stock it, they have to order it in. So what they'd have to do is they'd have to order, order they have to order it by a pallet. So the whole pallet would have to come in. And because I don't want a whole pallet, I want like half not even half a pallet um 
Apparently the people that send it have to charge a handling fee to pick it out of the pallet and it's 185 quid, hand, uh, 125 quid, sorry, handling fee to get to get out what I want. So it's gonna turn out to be ridiculously expensive. So because I need 18 square meters, that's 18 square meters times 20, it's about 360 quid. So if you wanna add another 120 pound in it, it's kind of, it's getting a bit like, it's a bit strong, I mean, I was expecting to pay about five hundred pounds to clad those those dormers. That's that was a complete rough guess, but I'm not paying an extra hundred and twenty five pounds just because someone can has to pick it out of a pallet. I'd sort of come and pick it out myself, but they ain't gonna let me do that. Right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look online and try and find somewhere else to do it, or I might find another builders merchants that would do it, and they've got it in stock, so I wouldn't have to pay the the hefty tab on it. Either that or failing that, I'll just get a bit of old. Nice bit of shiplap or something, like the really old sort of stuff. I don't know, I'll have a little look around, but I think cladding is the way forward. Right, okay, so we're done at the builder's merchant, so we'll uh, we'll bugger off now. Right, see you in a minute. Oh, by the way, check out the badass new radio I got put in this morning. Sat nav, he's got everything. The only one thing it doesn't have is a backup camera. I've got one, but the fella didn't fit it because he said it would cost too much. And this, I'll tell you what, for 80 quid, I think it was eight, either 80 quid or 100 quid off Amazon, mate, it works perfect. You've got Bluetooth, you've got everything you'd ever want, and you can download apps onto it. No, it's, it's really good. So, I'll tell you what, if you're interested, I'll leave a link down in the description for it. It's, yeah, I'm well chuffed with it. Even though I'm going to sell this truck, and this will probably be the last day I'm driving it, but oh well, such is life. But yeah, I think it's very snazzy. Right, okay, anyway, onwards, let's go back to the job site and. Uh, get those dormers batten, um, felted in. All right, let's see when we get back there. On the way home from the builder's merchant, I had to stop off at the estate agents again regarding the debacle that happened on Friday. I'm not gonna go into details about it, but a little bit later back. So what we're gonna do today is I'm just gonna, uh, what we're gonna do today, what we're gonna do this afternoon is I'm gonna finish off uh, felting these dormers. I'm just gonna staple it in. I'm gonna do the little bit of battening that's on that last dormer and then all prepared for tomorrow so tomorrow what we're going to do is because i'm basically decided i'm going to use some form of cladding on the dormers so what we're going to do is tomorrow i'm just going to start tiling i'm going to tile up to the bottom of the dormers i'm going to work out the space between the dormers put the tiles and a half in so i can work my way up the side of each dormer put the soakers in and what i'm going to try and do is i'll have a look tonight and try and find some cladding i'll order it if i can tonight if not tomorrow and so basically I'm just going to do as much as I can without the cladding. I'll probably leave little walkways so I can get back down to the dormers and do the cladding without having to break any tiles. And that's pretty much the size of it. So right now I'm going to go up there, I'm just going to staple on all of the felt and do that last little bit of battening on the front of that dormer in, in, blah, 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 in preparation, ready for tomorrow to just, we're going to see if we can smash this. I'll tell you what, I'd love it if we could tile this entire front of this house by the end of the week. That'd be that's the aim so let's see if we can do it right i'll jump up there and get this felt batten, uh get this felt stapled in
go, I've done all three of the dormers, they're all wrapped. Looking very nice. Now, I didn't do the bit of battening on the top of that furthest one, purely because I knocked one of the battens as I was doing this and the three loads of tiles stacked it off. So I don't really want to do that up the top there because I know the dormers wobble a little bit and I've, got, I've loaded it out with tiles. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tile up to it and when I get there and I've unloaded a lot of the tiles on the roof, I'll, um, I'll put a few battens on then. So it's, it's easy. I don't want to want to stack all these tiles off. I should really have done it beforehand, but oh well. What is it's done, it's done. So I'll leave it like that for the time being. It's looking pretty good, nicely loaded out, all wrapped up, ready to go. Now all I need to do is find some uh, cladding from somewhere. Uh, I might take a quick little drive now and uh, go up to the place where I've got all the timber from for the roof, because I know they do cladding there. Whether it be timber cladding or that concrete hard cladding, I don't know, I'll see what they got, but I'm not gonna record that. I'll, uh, I'll do that after I've finished here. Well, I am finished, but you know what I mean. There's something else I just noticed as well. Where well, I haven't nailed the battens in fully because I've always left a little bit on the top just in case I need to move the battens. I've loaded this roof out and because I knocked one of the battens and all these tiles fell off, if I start banging these nails in, all these tiles are going to fucking fall off. I'm going to have to be a bit careful here, I think. Otherwise, I'm going to have an avalanche. I'll tell you what, I made a bit of a mess up there. That's, that could be bad. Well, hopefully it's all right we'll have to see tomorrow and we'll start doing it tomorrow also i want to say something i got a comment from gifted uplifted asking me does youtube help mo does youtube help motivate you to work hard i'm assuming you mean to making these videos motivate me and i'll tell you what make, making these videos really does push me to keep going before i've always been a little bit down and out and i've been like oh man I don't really I don't really want to go out and do that I don't really want to go out and do this but when you daily especially with the daily vlogging especially doing it every day I'm like I have to make a video so no matter how demotivated I feel I'm like I have to go out there I have to make this video so it does push me to do it and as soon as you get the ball rolling you start doing with the day it you're in top spirits again so it does motivate me massively and hopefully there's a little bit of it in there even if one of you is motivated from what I do that's that makes it even better so yeah in answer to your question it does motivate me massively well okay and that'll do us for today tomorrow we'll start the tiling so if you've enjoyed this video please leave a like below and subscribe if you aren't already and i will see you guys bright and breezy tomorrow morning so take care have a good evening and i'll see you tomorrow